But number one, Russia performs an entire operation that is an integral to their state and intelligence apparatus called hybrid warfare. And the first component of hybrid warfare is political warfare and perception management, which is managed by the Russian intelligence apparatus and by the Kremlin itself. And there is nothing that occurs within Russia that is not part of the hybrid warfare perception management campaign. When they put something on television, they have a person out there that they, they have a message out there that they want the world to see so within saying, the Malcolm? propaganda apparatus of question. Russia. Let me and they see you, Boris, and the pro Trump campaign as an ally. No. Let me tell you where people are really troubled at within the intelligence community. And that's the counterintelligence community, the people who are actual spy catchers. And believe me, over the last month and a half here, that community is tearing their hair out. A president carrying out statecraft, which is the art of going out and cutting deals with your adversaries, your enemies, or getting things done within the parameters of the international framework of laws, is completely different than someone who is sullying up and currying up favor and no with, uh, with an opponent. No, with a strategic opponent. And Donald Trump is doing that. Right now, we are You're wondering, and the word has been out there, Excuse is me, Donald Trump actually an unwitting asset of the spy no, master you know in chief, right. the former director of the KGB. you have to present the Clinton talking points. But you know that's not correct. Okay, let me Excuse rephrase me. that. The former director of the KGB, all right, okay. is the person who he shows the most the admiration for. Too? Excuse me, no one can hear two people talking at the same time. That's but You've been on television a long time, Boris, and you know that two mics with voices coming well, at them at the same talk, time is impossible have to, to hear. But yeah. Malcolm is talking. As I was saying, the former director of the KGB is the person he shows the greatest admiration for above and beyond any American citizen and a current United States president and putting that out repeatedly I have to wonder whether as we say in the intelligence community there's a dirty tale here uh, Malcolm, all right that is and whether this needs to be investigated and on a strategic you know it, scale and that's as to whether what you're this doing, person is, is actually you're an unwitting asset of a foreign of intelligence treason. and before we go because we are out of time but I do want to show that this is not something that is only being said uh, on the left board I mean, you've had headlines coming out of everything from the Washington Post, but all the way, even on the right, people at Red State are concerned about it. You have a lot of concern. Red State's been and I'm showing for it a doesn't long make a difference. Trump. They are conservatives. They're still conservatives, right? You still allow them to be conservatives. Sure, of course. There's a lot of concern about this, and it isn't just among Hillary Clinton supporters. It is actually among some Republicans as well. Well, 90% Republicans are backing that. Trump, well, so well, the Republican well, Party is not concerned. The left is making accusations like Malcolm just did, which are very dangerous. You just accused the Republican candidate for president of treason, Malcolm. You should be That's ashamed of yourself. That's not true at all. That is not what he said. You're adding words. What I said was said. Is there should be an investigation okay, in counterintelligence about the ties of the KGB, or sorry, FSB now, to the Trump campaign and whether there is an actual intelligence operation we're not that the ones well, I think this is a question Russia's that, oh, that are. time's up. This is a question I think we're going to talk about a lot more, Malcolm. I yes, we thank are. you. I always appreciate having sure. you on. Uh, Boris, thanks for being here.